Passive, Signature of the Visionary. For weight damaging abilities against enemy champions, mark them for a few seconds. Okay, we're, we're, we're already seen this pattern 5,000 times. Hitting marked enemies with another damaging ability creates an explosion underneath them, detonating after a short delay and dealing magic damage to all enemies in range. Okay, so it's multiplicative. Okay. Q R W R E R Wash Brush. Wash Brush. Way clears his paintbrush and returns to base abilities without using mana or cooldowns. Way has ten spells. <laughs> Ophelius moment again. Q W E act as a spell book. Q damage W utility E control. Wow What? Oh Ophelius V2 <laughs> of course they had to make something complicated, thousand years of design again. Oh man, I feel bad for all the old champions being so fucking uncool compared to this. I mean, knowing which combos to do in the right moment, that's gonna be hard with 10 abilities, bro. Because you have damage, utility and control. Like that is a lot of fucking abilities to use, I'm gonna be honest. That like, that is going to be so hard to play against as well. He's a mid laner, yeah. QQ, okay, let's go. So you, first you have Q, QW, then you, you have QQ, QW, QE. Then you have WQ, W, 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 E. Then you have E, Q, E, W, E, E. Okay. QQ is first one. Devastating fire. Way paints, paints out a fireball that flies in the target direction. Explodes on the first enemy hit on, or at maximum range, dealing magic damage. Plus percent max shot damage to all enemies. That's kind of simple. Okay. QW paints a long range devastating bolt at the target location. After delay, the bolt strikes, dealing magic damage, immobilized or isolated enemies take increased damage based on missing health. So, if you're isolated or immobilized, it's better to use this ability. Or if you're low. No, if you're immobilized or isolated. Okay. Okay, so okay, so that's an ability because that's kind of looks like a Vagar W in a way. It kind of looks like a Vagar W. So, that's an ability if someone is like stunned or something. Okay. QE paints a field of exploding volcanic eruptions creating lingering lava. Every eruption does magic damage to enemies hit. So this is like AoE, wave clear maybe. Enemies in the lava area are dealt magic damage per second and are slowed. Oh, Kogmo E. Draco's W. Okay, the, the ability child is pretty slow, but yeah, okay, makes sense. Okay, WQ. So, the, so first one was damage, those were damage spells. Now it's utility. Fay paints a current of swift waters in a line for a few seconds that grants moon speed to himself and allies. Okay, so he does have mobility. Step by step. Damn, this champion looks so cool. And, and like this champion looks so cool to play. Very unfun to play against. So cool to play. It's literally Aphelios, bro. It's literally Aphelios. And I feel so bad for all champions that were released 10 years ago because they're so fucking outdated compared to this. WW, Huey forms a protective pool at the target location that lasts for a few seconds. Ally champions inside the area gain an immediate shield, increasing in value over a few seconds within the area. So does he get the shield? Step by step. He does, yeah? Okay, cool. It's cool. This looks cool. WE. Way paints three swirling lights that circle him for several lights. Diana W? Way next three attacks or spells grant bonus magic damage and get mana on hit. He has mana! He has mana sustain! Oh my god! He has TF blue card inbuilt into the kit. How will you balance this champion, Riot? It's going. Okay, okay, okay. By the way, by the way, okay. Another thing you guys have to consider, this champion is probably just going to be trash in low elo. It's probably just going to be trash for low elo players. It's way too complicated of a champion. Uh, yeah, good luck balancing this one guys. Cassanta of Midland is coming. GG. Wow, his attacks, attacks seem really fast on the ability. Wow, wow. Uh. 
<laughs> Looks insane. Okay, so that was utility spice. Now, now it's control apparently. Let's see control. Ray launches a terrifying face that strikes the first enemy he did magic damage and causes them to flee. Wow, so he has disengage. Wow, free disengage, baby. Way paints an abyssal eye at the target location that grants vision and locks on the nearest visible enemy champion. After a short delay, the eye fires at the locked off champion, rooting the first enemy in its path for a few seconds, sending magic damage. So he can face check bushes. Crushing Mao. Hui paints crushing jaws that deal magic damage to enemies hit and pulls them towards the center, slowing them by set amount that quickly decays. Oh, like a like a really cool Mordekaiser E. That's like range. Oh man, that there's so many combos this champ can do. Okay, I hope there's only one ult. Please don't be 500 ults. Huey launches a vision of pure despair that sticks to an enemy champion for a few seconds. The vision expands and overwhelms all enemies in touches dealing magic damage per second. Enemies within the zone are afflicted with stacked of despairs. Each stack of despair applies a stacking percentage percent slow. Upon completion, the vision shatters dealing magic damage. Okay, so it's just a damage ult. It's a Phileas ult basically. Kinda. I mean, the range is way too huge, the range is way too big. Okay, it's gonna be so hard to remember all these combos. You, you, uh, you will, this champion you will need 20 games minimum. Okay, so okay, so I think the way his abilities work is that you can only cast one Q, one W, and one E, right? Which means that you only get to use one damage spell, one control spell, and one utility spell, right? So you can't do you can't do triple damage spells because your Q will be on cooldown. I think that's how it works. Huh. Interesting. That does balance him a bit better. It's not as complicated as I initially thought the champion would be, now that I think about it. However, it still is true the champion will require mastery. And yeah, it's just gonna be terrible in low elo. This, there's no way the champion would be good in low elo, I think. Damn, kinda cool. It's kinda cool. It's kinda cool. Not gonna lie. His splash. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, it's nice that we can draw beautiful characters, right? But people like this don't exist in real life, so... Back to reality, baby. It's just you with long hair, you're so delusional. Anyway. Yeah, I mean, they have to make him look good, so people buy him. I kinda get it. Uh, it's like, classic. Like, League, League characters over the years have just gotten hotter and hotter. Both males and females. Perhaps you can cast a damage spell twice if you EQ, then cannot QE. Is that Q... Okay, I have no clue what it's, what you're saying, Clue. I kinda got lost. Apparently you can use 3 damage spells, but then you have others on cooldown. Oh, really? Uh, I don't know if I trust that information. You know what the worst part about the new champion is? That it's exactly my type of champion. It's literally exactly my type of champion. That's the worst part. I actually am forced to play it. He's just cooler than so many champs out there. Genuinely, he's just cooler. Do I see him as a pro play champion? Yeah, 100%. Time to download PB and learn the champ pre-release. Nah, because learning the champ on ping is very painful. Not the same experience. Yeah, if I play, if I go on PB, the champ will be perma-locked as well. 